Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Democracy Free with me, Alpha P Omega. Now we're playing Poland and I feel ecstatic and yeah, I got re-elected. There's not much else to say than I'm happy. So we got 61% of the people voting for me. We got a budget deficit of a nice 4.41 billion Polish Zlotys. We got patrol protests gone and we got ghettos gone. Though we got a failed assassination attempt by the Freedom League, so that puts us in a tricky situation. Now I'm gonna speak about this in about a while. In about a while? What the hell am I talking about? In about a moment. But first let's go over this. We got health and education almost maxed. We got GDP going up, unemployment going down, crime at a record low, and poverty at a nice uh, lower quarter or the bottom quarter. So now let's start. Well, uh, we need a plan. We need a plan because we got re-elected and that means we got four more years. We are in a pretty good situation at this point as far as budget goes. But till the end of the second year, I want to have a budget surplus. Now, that gives me eight turns to turn this into a good number. We need to lower the expenses by about 4.5 billion to achieve that. Now, we have a triple AA rating, which is awesome and means that we should be relatively fine. For now, if we continue with the reforms, we will uh, be able to get a budget surplus and thus be happy. The problem with that, though, is the fact that uh, we cannot go any uh, further. We cannot get a better rating than we already have, which means that the debt interest will never go down. It will just slowly diminish as we lower the overall uh, budget uh, debt. It's a bit of a bad news for us, but on the other hand, um, you know, it's a mixed blessing. Now, the debt ratio is 58.6%, which is not really that bad. Um, expenses interest rate is awesome. So yeah, uh, now to the more painful thing, we got targeted by the Freedom League, which uh, I'd say connect the liberals and probably parents and someone else. It mostly comes from the Human Rights Society. And we also have the Bad Badenberg group coming after us. So this needs to be done. I will start a politics of appeasement right now. We're going to try to make people more happy, uh, make them a bit more um, content with the government. Yeah. There's also the Black Power group, which I believe is the ethnic minorities, but we shouldn't really be. Uh, unhappy about that. Ethnic minorities are going up, capitalists are going up, so Battenberg group and ethnic minorities uh, should diminish unless we do something really stupid. Liberals, on the other hand, though, hate us. They, they just hate us. So, uh, we need to fix this. Same-sex marriage uh, would really make this uh, go away, though it would really piss the conservatives, but Hmm, conservatives and religious. If I, if I went like this, that would go a long way, I think. It costs us 20 though. And it's, uh, to be honest, it's uncon unconti wow. unconstitutional for Poland because they got it um, banned by constitution. So I'll try to look for something else that could uh, help us here. Uh, there isn't much. Same-sex marriage really pisses them off. Euthanasia, anti-smoking regulation, deterrent images. Wow. Mm. That's not good. CCTV cameras, I think we could lower these uh, really a lot. You could even cancel it. Then it would play a bit of a role, but... Yeah, and it's, that's not happening. Armed police. If we went with specialists, how bad is crime in our country? I'm not really sure. Um, wait, we need to find like this. Crime, crime is at an all-time low, so I think we can go 
with uh, lowering the armed police. That could be a nice step. Oh wait, this is intelligent services. Uh, nope. Uh, where is armed police? Here. So if we lowered it like this, it would still lower crime. Liberals wouldn't hate me. And it, it's really not that expensive, so I'm gonna go with this one. It's also going to give us, look at that, a nice uh, bonus of 700 million. So that fits well into our policy. Now, is there something else that I could enact that would make uh, people happy? International Refugee Camp Aid. I have a feeling that this could help, but I have also a feeling that this would piss off our capitalists. Liberals. Alcohol awareness campaign. Welfare fraud. Uh, let's look at public services though. I think uh, there's something that people would like here. Something that would make people happy. Compulsory foreign language classes. Uh, that's actually not going to help the liberals, but it's gonna lower the racial tensions, which is good for the ethnic minorities. Sex education. Probably bad for the conservatives. We got it twice here. Interesting. <laughs> Keep the country tidy would not do much. Youth politics council. What are we doing with the youth? Doing fine with the youth, but there's very little of them. Some uh, self-employed. Is there something else that's pissing me off that I could get rid of real easily? And ID cards, biometric, compulsory. And this pisses them off really a lot. Heavily enforced. Mm, what was violent crime? We could save some money on this, but it's really expensive to make a change on this one. So let's forget about it at this point and move on to narcotics and the stigma. Oh wait, that could be that. Um, we already have that needle exchange program, climate change adaptation fund, organ donations. I have a feeling this would be good for liberals, but piss off religious. The religious really like us, so I think we can. Uh, piss them off a bit. Not by much though. Yeah, these are all fuel efficiency standards. Clean fuel subsidies. That's um let's go with organ donations. Yeah, increases of liberal What? Universal, no opt option. Oh, this is interesting. I like this one. Look at that. Um, by request, uh, by request increases health. Um, liberals like it and religious hates it. But as we move towards, if approved by next of kin, presumed consent already pisses the liberals a bit off. And when we move to universal, no opt option. Then it pisses both religious and liberals, so that's interesting. I'm gonna go with max liberals. So that's here. If approved by next of kin, it's gonna cost us 10 uh, million, but I'm gonna go with it. And we still got two points uh, ready. So is there something I can do? Social Justice Foundation. I think this doesn't really uh, help the liberals, but I'm actually know that. That's a bad, fucking bad idea. That's gonna increase the amount of liberals. Oh my god, well, bad choice. But anyway, we got this fixed. Uh, black market, though, needs to go away. We should focus on this. Wow, that one costs a lot. Yeah, I need to lower this one. We should look into lowering the income, uh, income tax soon. Though this is the main income of our country, so I don't, I'm not sure if that's uh, that's doable. Fraud agency is almost fully there and still not working. Tobacco tax, alcohol tax, 
Everything is increasing this. Unemployed benefits. Border controls, but that's gonna piss off the liberals. I should really lower this to biometric checks. Gonna make it cheaper. Increase tourism. Ethnic minorities won't be pissed so much. Immigration will increase though. I'm not sure that's a good thing, but liberals will like it. Patriots will get pissed a bit. Foreign relations and black market. Actually, no, that's gonna increase the black market. Damn. This is a tricky one. Uh, dementia should go away as well, but. Police brutality, we worked on that. A rail strike would be a good thing to uh, get rid of. And that's gonna only increase if we pump more money in it. Which kinda sucks. There's really no way around it. Uh, I want to focus mainly on education. I want to focus on increasing the GDP slightly more and on lowering the depth so we should be we should be fine. What about this? And it doesn't help much. Is there something else I should do next turn? Community policing, consumer rights. Is the main with the ID cards wiretapping? It really pisses them off. Uh, I'm gonna go well, probably with judicial order because then that's closest to uh, my line of thinking. So we're gonna lower it next uh, next turn. Let's see if I don't get killed, that is achievement unlock survivor. They see some politicians are political survivors, but you really define the world with the way you've been doing those terrorist plots. Here, have a shiny medal. Another failed assassination attempt. The Freedom League. Oh, labor shortage. Huh. In the booming economy, employers have troubling, trouble finding enough workers. They desperately try to hire retired people. Business leaders request relaxed immigration laws. Once productivity increases wages, self-employed. Hmm. Okay, let's see the Freedom League. Why are you guys increasing? I'm doing all I can to make you happy. God damn it. <laughs> well, okay then. Uh, black market not happening. Dementia. Oh, we got a surplus! Holy crap, that's the first surplus we had ever. Wow, 13.41 billion. Oh, that is awesome. How is that possible? Wow. Okay, police brutality is going down really quickly. And it's gonna lower... Once it goes away, it's gonna lower liberalism a bit. What is this, though? Buy a few subsidies. Oh, I set them to maximum. I wasn't aware. How's my government doing? Uh, wow, people really love me. That's good. It's really good. Okay, wait. What did I want to lower? Was something really pissing the liberals off? Damn, I should really pay a bit more attention. ID cards. Oh, wiretapping. Yeah, that's right. With judicial order. And anything else? Oh, it's not going to. National service. Compulsory military service for some citizens where they're taught the basics of how to defend the country from attack has some benefits. For example, it would allow us to have a smaller, like, regular army. However, there are concerns about forcing people to bear arms against their will. We got a six month service. Periodic service, military strength. I'm gonna keep this one. It's not such a big issue to liberals. It's really the ID cards, aren't they? And that really, it, this is just such a... Man, everything makes them unhappy. Abortion law. Oh yeah, lower, lower that one already. 
You oh euthanasia. I wanted to change that one. Didn't I? I wanted to put it on passive euthanasia. Though I can't. Okay, never mind. Mm, prostitution law illegal. Okay, there's just two options. Legal or legal? <laughs> and it's gonna either hurt the GDP or help the GDP. Oh god, that's funny. Uh, what else is that? State security program, same-sex same marriage. With request. This would really change their opinion of me by far, but... Hmm. With request. I actually don't know what that means. And... I guess we have to do it. We have to appease them somehow, so... Let's just uh, do it to make them happy and uh, deal with the constitution later. I kind of like the cycling campaign. Tax. Work safety laws. City. I like the idea of city farms. Increase the farmer's opinion of me and farmer's membership. Okay, let's, let's hope I won't get killed because there has been another freedom league just hates me. Wow, we still got a surplus. 13.24 billion. That is awesome. GDP though has been... Oh, market meltdown. No! An organized crime got back? Self-employed. Holy crap. How did they get back so fast? Ah, uh, okay, well, uh, the debt is going down, that, oh god, this is going to hurt, we're gonna fall straight into a huge deficit again. Uh, just when we were lowering the debt. Hmm. Well, okay, how, okay, liberals still hate me, how's this, yeah, still increasing, security effectiveness is high though. Battenberg group hates me as well. What? What hate? Why do you hate me? Market meltdown. Okay, great. <laughs> Just great. Ah, game. Oh, game. Immigrant welfare. Synthetic rent controls. Winter fuel. Welfare fraud department. State housing. Monetary policy. Diversity quotas for companies. That's interesting one, but that's that's so far away from what I think we should be doing that I can't even uh, start thinking about antibiotics ban. Hmm. Foreign investor tax breaks. Mm, let's look at our expenses. You can marry tax allowance, agriculture, science funding, rail subsidies, state schools are okay, state pensions, social state investment there, yeah. and the one science funding, rail, police force, child benefits. This would organize crime, military strength, police. How's the police brutality doing? Okay, that one is going straight away. The organized crime, holy hell. Black market is increasing it. If I increase it, it's just going to hurt the GDP. Is this... Um, yeah, it is. Intelligent services would help a lot. 
Isn't there something that I could do? Law and order. Racial profiling. Uh, no. Compulsory church attendance. Emergency curfew. Voting age. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, implement the voting age. Now, this is 18. If I went down to... Oh, wow. I wanted to go down to, like, 16 years. Though... Your conservatives don't like it. Oh man, this is another bad one. It doesn't give me that much benefit. But we're doing good with the youth, so let's go with 16 years. And hope that it's going to make a change. And I'm gonna go with that refugee camp. Patriots, foreign relations, and racial tensions going down. That's good. And I guess that is pretty much all that we can do. Cycling campaign is a good one as well. Oh man, I could get assassinated any turn now. No! Ah, oh, the Freedom League, you bastards. You have been a victim of carefully planned assassination. A group of extremists known as the Freedom League, opposed to your government's anti-liberal agenda, have got hold of explosives which were det detonated in a building in which you were giving a press conference. You and a number of your minister aides have been killed. You turned a blind eye to the concerns of the liberals and they made you pay the ultimate price. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. Oh, and I didn't even get the ending screen. Oh, god damn it. Well, <laughs> well, that's just how it goes, guys. We tried our best and we failed. Oh, actually, I failed, but, you know, that's brutal, 200%. And they just hated me. Liberals just pretty much hated me. So what else could we pay? Oh, pay. <laughs> what else could we pay in our lives? But my question was, what else are we going to play? Hmm. Well, you guys requested uh, Mexico. So I think I might give a try to Mexico. I never played that one. It's a huge country though, 180 million people. I think I'm gonna think about that uh, for a moment. I'm gonna check out on your comments and see what you guys requested. And I'm just going to go with the one that got the most votes. So yeah, this was Poland with me, Alpha V Omega.